Anthony Hartwig here with a Crestview Volleyball Player Profile. I am joined by Emily Downey, junior of this team, and the libero of the Crestview Volleyball team. Emily, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be on here. All right, so we talk about this season and the, the great run you guys have had. Uh, you've been a big part of it from your perspective. Uh, what's this ride with Crestview been like so far, uh, especially this year? It's just It's been really exciting seeing us grow individually and as a team and just working hard together. And it's just been a really great success so far. You know, talking to Coach Hour, she says that you're one of the people that she's seen a lot of growth from, especially with confidence out there on the floor and being in the libero. Um, do you feel that too? Do you feel a lot more confident now than you were in the beginning of the season? Yeah, I feel like my confidence has grown a lot. And I think that's with a lot of help from the coaches and my teammates. Yeah, what, was there a moment in the middle of the season that you kind of flipped that confidence switch or maybe a couple of matches where you felt like you played really well that gave you a lot of confidence? Yeah, there were a few matches like Coach mentioned to me my East Liverpool game was one really good game and she recommended for me to go back and watch my highlights in order to get ready and prepared for our tournament games and I think that really helped me with confidence in those games. When you get told that you're going to be the starting libero for this this program and, and you're going to have that that responsibility really on your shoulders of leading the back row, what were some of your emotions and some of the thoughts going through your head when you were told that? Um, I was very excited and very honored because I know we have a very strong program and there's so much talent and it was just really exciting for me. Okay, we got to talk about these last two games in districts against two really good teams. This bracket was full of uh, state-ranked opponents, and you showed up great against both teams. Uh, what was it like for you just to, to go up against that high level of volleyball and really get the results that you did? It was awesome. It was great playing some good competition. And going into the game, we were so excited. We really wanted those wins, and it was just great getting them. We put 100% effort and hard into both of them, and we're so happy. I mean, take us inside the locker room a little bit for these games. I mean, you said that you guys won it. You seem like the more aggressive team both nights. Uh, what was the mindset heading into these games for, from your team's perspective? We knew it was going to be a tough match, good competition. And we knew that we had to be mentally there because the mental game is a big part of it. And also that every point would matter. And that really showed, especially in – those sets where it's like 25 to 23 and that you just have to give it your all until the very end. All right. So obviously you get a lot of digs back there in the back row against a lot of good hitters, not just in the last two games, but your conference has a couple of really good hitters and uh, your non-conference schedule definitely featured some good hitters as well. Um, do you have like a first memory of, of going up against, you know, a really strong hit and getting, getting a really good dig back there and what that I felt like? There's there's been a lot that it's just when you get a dig, I don't it's just like really great feeling. And then especially when we get a run like me to Grace to Abby and you get that kill, it's just so exciting and all your teammates celebrating you and it just feels really great. So a dig is a very unique stat than in than any other sport because like it, with a kill with points in basketball, whatever it may be, a touchdown, you can celebrate after you get it. But when you get have a dig, the play's not over. So um, talk about that. Just going in the mindset of okay, you went down, you got a good dig, but you still got to get up and and get refocused in case the other team puts another one right back at you. Yeah, I think I think that's also goes into every point matters, and that you just got to keep playing until you hear the whistle because it it's just the, the volleys can go on for so long. It just makes them so exciting and. I remember the one play in the game. I almost flew into the score table, and I hear the coaches telling me to get back on the court, and it just really gave me the motivation to keep going and to just that volley was really fun. Yeah, there's no time to lay down or rest when you're, yeah. when you're in the day. Um, when you think about volleyball and some of the things that you love so much about it, obviously you have to love it to put as much time as you do into it. What do you love so much about this sport? Uh, just – the excitement on the court, off the court, it's just our support 
from the community and from our teammates and our coaches. We just have such a cl close bond, and it just makes the sport so much fun and so exciting. You talked about how much Coach Hour and the staff helped you with your confidence. Um, what else have, the, have this co has this coaching staff really helped you grow in uh, in the time that you've been able to be under them? Uh, they've really helped me individually with some of my goals, such as serve-receive and being a more aggressive server. And we work a lot, of, a, lot, a lot on that on practice, and they give us all individual feedback and feedback as a whole, and it just helps us improve. All right, so you come into this season. What were some of those personal goals that you set for yourself that you wanted to achieve before the season ended? Confidence was a big one for me, confidence in serve receiving and to become more consistent in aggressive serving and in getting if like touches on a ball because a lot there are a lot of hard hits and it's great to um, get digs, but even just going for the ball every every time is really important and I've been working really hard on that. All right, so now we're almost into the season. Not quite yet because you guys are still fighting for regionals. But uh, how would you kind of grade yourself on the goals that you set back in the, the beginning of the year? I I think I, I've i been doing pretty well. It, at the start of the season, I aimed for those goals, and I think I've just improved on getting closer and closer to achieving all of them each game. And I... I think that my confidence has grown and just my overall game and just our team's overall game has improved so much over the season. All right. So when you think about um, some of the things that you think makes Crestview such a special place to be and makes you proud to represent the school, what, what kind of things come to mind when you think about that? Um, our good attitudes. There's so much positive positivity on our team and in the community and I think that just really helps us. It, we always bring so much excitement and lift each other up. And it's just it's just a great um, bond that we have on our team. All right. So you talk about this bond, and obviously there's a lot that you guys do off the court to, to bond together to bond together and to, to build chemistry. What are some of your favorite team bonding exercises that this team's able to do? Um, we've had dinner a few times tonight. We had dinner, and it was a lot of fun just talking and sharing memories and having laughs. And also, we've um, hung out a few times at each other's houses and gone on walks, and it's just really fun because we feel like family. We're so close, and it's really great. You know, and you think about the, the positiveness that this team brings um, how, how are you guys able to stay so positive in a sport that, uh, you know, can be really hard at times and you can have a team go on a five or four point run? Um, how have you guys managed to stay so positive on the court? I think it's just a matter of our coaches along with our teammates. We all lift each other up. And if one person's feeling down, everyone does their best to lift them up. And it's just a chain reaction of positive positivity. All right, so when you look at um, your future now, you're going into your senior year next year. Um, what kind of things have you picked up from this year's seniors that are going to kind of help you be a senior leader next year? Uh, they've showed great leadership. They're always motivating us and pushing us to be our best, and they're always doing what's right. And it's, even after the game, some of them are picking up trash and cleaning up, even though they're the oldest on the team. It just shows that. It, it's just a really great leadership that they have. All right. So I saw a picture of the team this week on social media that was under all the championship banners in that gym for volleyball. There are so many of them. Uh, when you look at that banner and you look at that, that wall on the gym that's dedicated to volleyball, um, does that make you kind of proud to, to be a part of such a successful program even before you got there? Yeah, it makes me very proud. It really just shows how hard – we've worked over the past, past many years and how great of a coaching staff we've had to make such a great program. Was there ever any pressure to, to kind of live up to what you saw on that wall, especially in your early years in the program? I think it was, it was a big goal, seeing how 
much success there was. I think it was it was just something to really aim for, and I think it was a good form of motivation to um, reach for that. All right, so uh, now let's talk about student athlete. You're a student as well. What are some of your favorite things to study in school, and uh, what are some of your favorite things to learn about? Um, I some of my favorite classes are literature and art and anatomy. I've been really enjoying those classes this year. Are there any teachers, whether it be this year, last year, middle school, whatever it may be, that kind of impacted your journey and 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 made an impact on you while you had them uh, for a teacher? Um, our Freshman science teacher, Mr. Fabian, he always does FCC meetings, fellowship of Christian athletes. For um, He talks to us after school some Wednesdays with the volleyball team and talks to us on Thursday mornings. And he's had a big impact because he's taught us all that, um, like, working as a team and being there for each other is so important. And also, um, we always pray before our games and I think that's a big part of him that he's taught us to always play for God and um, be faithful and that's really helped us so far. Let's go a little bit deeper into that because a lot of your teammates and your, your coach has, has brought up those meetings and how much um, those have meant to the team. Is there kind of one message that, that you can remember that, that really stuck out when, when you think about the, the weekly meetings with, with Mr. Fabian uh, with this team? I think one that was really important, we we all got in a circle and we shared, we each picked the name and we shared what's so special about that person. And some people got maybe their best friend on the team. Some people got someone who maybe they wanted to know a little better. And I think it just helped us see that we see, um, we see like, the differences in each other and also we can pull out all the positive things about one another. And I think it just, it brought us closer together as a team and really built a good bond between us. All right. Obviously you spend a lot of time with this team. So who have you gotten into the most over the stretch of the season? Um, I've, I've built a closer bond with a lot of the seniors and just everyone on the team. And a lot of the girls I've been friends with since I was since I was very young, and I, that it's just great to see um, our friendship continue and even grow stronger as we play together. All right, you're going to Barberton on Thursday. This team has been there before. Uh, what are some of the things that you are leaning on of the last couple of years of experience to kind of help you be prepared for Thursday night in the atmosphere that you're going to see um, in Barberton? I think it's important for us to go in the game understanding that we're going to be playing a very good team and it's going to be good competition, but we still got to have um, a strong mental game and confidence and trust in ourselves and trust in our teammates and um, just bring 100% effort and heart and everything we got. All right. You have one more practice before that game. Um, you know, what, what are kind of you take us through a normal practice for Crestview volleyball. I imagine they're very high intensity with how successful this program is. What is a normal practice with Crestview volleyball? We work a lot on individual, we split up passers and blockers and work on things like that. And we also come together as a team and play some in more game like situations. And I think that helps us just work on our individual goals, but also prepare for our games. We also look a lot into our scouting reports and what we need to understand about the other teams in order to um, play at their level and play the best that we can. All right, so last question uh, before we let you go. Well, I should say before we get into the rapid-fire question because we got to get to know you a little bit uh, off the court. Um, what, what, um, what skill do you think you've improved on the most throughout the season? I think serve receive I've improved on the most. I've really focused on that because uh, our coaches always say one thing that's so important is ball control, and that ball control can lead a team to success. And if we 
if we can get those good passes on service receive, then we're able to run all three hitters, and that's when it, our game really comes into play. All right, time for some rapid fire questions, getting to know you a little bit off the court. And I will start with um, Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have two dogs and a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon. Oh, that's that's the first time we've gotten that one. And that is so awesome. Yeah. Um, what is kind of the weirdest thing one of your pets does? Like, do they have any quirks? Um, our dogs really like to eat socks. They chew socks all the time. And my bearded dragon, he he's pretty laid back. He'll, he'll fall asleep on me sometimes. So, yeah. Um, if you could have any other animal that you don't have as a pet, what animal, what animal would you want? I'd like a cat. A cat. Okay. That's a... It's a timid answer. I, I, I thought I would, people would go for something exotic, but you know, hey, you don't have a cat. You want a cat? Let's get one for you. Um, what are some of your favorite uh, fairy tales that you that you liked as a kid? Uh, I gotta say, my favorite is Princess and the Frog. Okay. I always loved that story. Is that also your favorite Disney movie? Yeah. What about like your favorite Disney song? Does it come out of that movie, or is there another song in another movie? that you like uh, the best when you think of Disney's library? Uh, from Princess and the Frog, I'd say Evangeline is my favorite song. All right, that's good. What about music that you listen to before a game to get yourself in that in that game mindset? We, we listen to a pretty big variety. We have a lot of songs to get us pumped up and ready. And um, there's a few of our favorites that aren't necessarily like get it, pumped up songs but western feel we've always listened to before the game and it's just it's just it's just a funny memory um dancing around the coaches to that so we've always kept that <laughs> all right what about um you look at any pre-game routines that you have yourself like do you have any superstitions or routines that you stick to before games just Mentally preparing myself and getting excited for the game and reading over my goal in the locker room and just so, make sure I have everything for the game. So do you set yourself a personal goal before every game? Uh, we wrote our goals at the beginning of our season okay. and we read those before every game. All right. So when you think of um, one thing um, about your family that you think makes it unique from other families, what would you think of? Um. My sister and I have a really close bond, and I know a lot of all siblings have a close bond, but we've always got the question of how do we never fight, and I always thought that was kind of funny because we never do fight. We were like, we chose to share a room when we were younger, and everyone's always thought that was different. <laughs> is it literally like never, you've never had a fight, or is there like one or two times? Uh, I mean... Maybe slight arguments in there, but not not really. We don't fight. Um, what is it? What is that kind of relationship meant to you? I mean, obviously everyone's close to their siblings, but you have, like you said, one that's a little bit closer than most. Yeah, she's she's just my best friend, and she's always been there for me. And even she couldn't make it to our game the other day, so she stopped at home and left me a long paragraph about how great I am, how much she loves me. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, is she coming on Thursday? Um, I, I'm not sure yet. She'll probably have to wait and see if she's able to. Well, we, we definitely hope that she's there. But, uh, of course, if she can't, we'll have it on YSNlive.com. She can watch it. Uh, watch the broadcast. Uh, before we let you go, I want to give you the chance to, to thank your support system and all the other people that have been there to support you throughout your career. We just say thank you to everyone, all our coaches, our teachers, our family, our friends, and all the whole community who's always come there and supported us. It's just really great, and we need so much to have them there for us. All right, Emily, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in Barberton on Thursday. We hope that this uh, season goes a little bit longer and we can talk a little bit more about a regional final. And, hey, if if uh, if the universe is up for it, let's talk about some state championships, all right? <laughs> uh, we thank you for your time, and we look forward to talking to you again real soon. You too. Thank you so much.